Hey, this is Tejesh Kaliki. This video is about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Consider a line L1 with slope M1 and another line L2 with the slope M2. We will now see the relation between M1 and M2 in two special cases. The first case is that L1 is parallel to L2. In this case, the both lines will have the same slope, that is, M1 is equal to M2. And the second case is that L1 is perpendicular to L2. In this case, the product of the slopes will be equal to minus 1, that is, M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1. We can also say that the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other that is m1 is equal to minus 1 by m2 and similarly m2 is equal to minus 1 by m1. Let's try solving some problems using this. Without using Pythagoras theorem, show that the points 4 comma 4, 3 comma 5 and minus 1 comma minus 1 are vertices of a right angle triangle. So therefore, we are given three points a 4 comma 4, b 3 comma 5 and c minus 1 comma minus 1. Now we have to show that these form a right angle triangle. Now if you consider a right angle triangle as follows, you will notice that any two of the edges should be perpendicular to each other. That is, we have to find two edges such that their product of slopes will be equal to minus 1. So first we will find the slope of AB which is nothing but 5 minus 4 by 3 minus 4 which is nothing but minus 1. Similarly, slope of BC is equal to minus 1 minus 5 divided by minus 1 minus 3, which is nothing but 3 by 2. And finally, the slope of AC is equal to minus 1 minus 4 by minus 1 minus 4, which is nothing but 1. Now, if you observe carefully, the slope of AB is minus 1 and slope of AC is 1. The product of these is equal to minus 1. So therefore, we can say that angle A is 90 degrees, which proves that the given points form a right angle triangle. Next question. A line L1 passes through 1, 1 and 5, 4. Another line L2 passes through 2, 3 and 6, k. If L1 and L2 are parallel, find the value of k. Given the lines L1 and L2 are parallel to each other. So therefore, we know that the slope of L1 should be equal to slope of L2. Slope of L1 is nothing but 4 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1. This will be equal to slope of L2, which is nothing but k minus 3 by 6 minus 2. Simplifying this, we get 3 by 4 is equal to k minus 3 by 4. The 4s can be cancelled out and we will get 3 is equal to k minus 3, which means that k is equal to 6. Try solving the following practice problems. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more such videos, please subscribe to the channel.